Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine function values on the TA-89 graphing calculator. We will take a look at two methods for determining function values on this calculator. Let's first start a new problem by pressing second F1 for F6, two for new problem, and then enter. I also recommend to have the calculator in exact or automatic mode. Notice here at the bottom of the screen, we are in exact mode. To review how to change the mode, we press the mode key, F2 for page two. If we scroll down to where this says exact, by pressing the down arrow and then the right arrow, we can change the mode to automatic exact or approximate. Let's go back to the home screen. And now we'll define the functions f of x and g of x. We define a function from the other menu. So we press F4, number one for define. And now from here, notice above this vertical bar is an F, so we press alpha vertical bar for F, and then in parentheses x equals negative x squared plus three x minus three. So negative x raised to the power of two plus x minus three, enter. And now the function f of x is defined. Let's also define the function g of x. So again, f4 for the other menu, number one for define. Now we enter the function g of x. Notice there's a g above the seven, so we press alpha seven for g, in parentheses x equals negative two. The square root is second multiply x close parenthesis plus five and enter. And now we can determine the function values. For f of three, we enter f of three. So alpha vertical bar in parentheses three, enter. f of three is equal to negative nine. For f of negative five, we enter alpha vertical bar in parentheses negative five, enter. f of negative five is equal to negative 33. Let's record these two function values. f of three is equal to negative nine f of negative five equals negative 33. And now let's determine g of four and g of eight. So we'll enter g of four by pressing alpha seven in parentheses four and enter. g of four equals one. Another way to find the next function value would be to edit this previous entry. So to find g of eight, we can just edit g of four and change the four to an eight. So I'll press the right arrow, left arrow once, the backspace key, enter eight, and enter. So g of eight equals five minus four square root two. This is the exact function value. If we were in approximate mode, it would only display a decimal approximation. Let's go ahead and record these two function values, and then we'll look at a second method for determining function values. So g of four is equal to one, and g of eight equals five minus four square root two. The second method we can determine function values is how we often find function values on the TI-84 graphing calculator. What we can do is press diamond F1 for the y equals screen and enter f of x in y1 and g of x in y2. So let's press the up arrow, clear this old function, and enter negative x raised to the power of two plus x minus three, enter, and y2 is equal to negative two times the square root of x plus five, enter. And now if we go back to the home screen by pressing home, to find the function value f of three, we can enter a y one of three because f of x is in y one. The nice thing about this is that the y variable is very convenient. So we can press y one, then in parentheses three, this will give us the function value f of three, which we already know is negative nine, while one of negative five will give us the function value f of negative five. So again, y one in parentheses, negative five, enter, gives us negative 33 for f of negative five. And g of x is in y two, so to find g of four, we enter y two of four, and to find g of eight, we enter y two of eight. So y2 in parentheses four, enter, which confirms the function value g of four. And finally, g of eight would be y2 of eight, enter. 
which we know is 5 minus 4 square root 2. So either of these two methods can be used to determine function values on the TA-89 graphing calculator. I hope you found this helpful.